Hello there, welcome to Wampacraft, and today I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to change your name so it looks crazy and stuff. And not just that, there's a load of things you can do with this. For example, you can have a system on the server, and any server where there's VIPs. So, hi, my Minecraft username is Hoppin' Maddo, so that's why it's showing up as that's not Wampacraft. Should have got that one. Oh well, shame, pity, let's move on. <laughs> um, but there you go. VIP. Hi, there we go, it's in gold, it's pretty shiny. And then we've got this one. So you can say hi again. Hoppy Maddo is a great YouTuber. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Anyway. <laughs> this is simply done. Well, not simply actually, it's it's actually pretty complicated, but you know. Simply done by adding people to teams. Now teams have a lot of options, so what you can do is you can add lots of different things. Um, as you may know, with um, in some maps, PvP maps for example, that's where it's most commonly used, you can assign different people to teams, and you can give the people's team names different colours, and all the people on that team will have that colour as their name. It's a bit confusing, I know not everybody's that confident with scoreboards, I'm not, I'm definitely not. Don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> Anyway, let's show you how this works. So what you want to do to start off, you want to get a command block with a button on it, and you just want to type this in, scoreboard teams add, and then whatever team you want to call it, let's call it, um, uh, I don't know, uh, let's make a pink underline team, pink. So we'll just call it pink. And then we're just going to press that button, and it'll say that added new team pink successfully. You don't have to do this with a command block, you can just type this in. But I like to do it this way, it's easier. <laughs> and it just helps me remember. Anyway, now what you want to do is you want to get one of these. Let's get rid of that. So what this is going to do, this is going to remove anybody from any team that they're already in. So scoreboard leaves teams at P. Don't worry about that. But then this is going to add them to this new team. So we don't want random, because that was the team with the random letters. We're going to say pink. So there we go, and then we just want to hit that, and now we've been added to that team. So, as you can see right now, nothing's changed. It's just hopping out, it's the default. But now we need to go into MBC Edit. Yay, because everybody loves that. See you there. Welcome back. If you own a server or have modified your world in any way, you probably know what this screen is. This is when you go into a world file that's in your .minecraft or when you go into a world file that's in your server folder but look you know what this is I'm not going to explain how to like get here and stuff <laughs> there's another video for that somewhere bound to be anyway what you want to do is you don't want to go to level dot dot this is interesting you want to go to data and you want to go to scoreboard dot dot you want to open this with mbt edit there we go I'll just drag this down so you can see it okay and now you want to open this up so now I've got four teams. I had the random one, the VIP one, the YouTuber one, and now I've got the pink one. So we want to open this up, and you're just going to have to guess. But as you can see, that's the VIP one. It tells you this, so it's not too hard. But here we go. We found pink. So this is the um, settings for all the people on this pink team that we've made. So what we want to do, we want to go to the micro forums and you want to look at all the formatting codes for minecraft so i'm just doing that now because i didn't prepare for this video whoops oh well <laughs> let's not worry about it okay there we go right i'm back woo right so you want to go to prefix so this is what's going to come before your name if you're on the pink team now normally um, in a PvP map, this would just be one of the formatting codes that you'll see when you go to this page. But you can change this to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be just a formatting code. So say if you were going to do this um, just in vanilla and just make it, oh look, the pink team will have a pink name. Okay, that's easy. You want to grab the formatting code for pink. There's no pink colour. There's light purple, but there's no pink. So this is the light purple team now. Oh well. But there you go, it's a weird symbol and then a D. Now, you just have to go to the page and look at this. It'll tell you everything you need to know. I mean, it's not that difficult. If, you edited if you've edited books before, you'll know how it works. It's the same thing. But you want to go that, which will give you a pink writing. 
but we also said that we wanted to underline it so the um, setting thing for underlining it is weird symbol and an N so there we go I'm just copying and pasting this over from the Minecraft forms page easy enough but then that's done so that's gonna set it to pink and then um, what am I saying yeah underlined now we need to go to suffix and do exactly the same thing but we want the weird symbol and R now what this does this resets all of the formatting codes that have come before this is gonna sound really weird if you have no idea what I'm talking about which you probably don't it's slightly complicated oh well <laughs> don't worry but as you can see we have this thing here and what this is gonna do this is gonna set it back to normal like it would be normally white text not underlined if we didn't do this all of the writing that I typed would be pink and underlined afterwards so we want to do that so this is what comes after the name the suffix all you want to do is edit a prefix and the suffix don't edit anything else unless you want to and it'll probably mess everything up so good luck with that but then we just want to save we want to get out of that and then we'll head on back to minecraft oh we're already here oh well <laughs> right so now as you can see we've got the pink team here we've already joined this but yeah let's do it again just for the hell of it and now if we type in hi you can see it's pink and it's underlined and then the text after it is white so there you go that's how you do that with stuff like this the VIP one um, probably one of the hardest ones just remove myself from the pink team there and now I've joined this one um, this one you want the formatting code for gold text and then I just typed VIP make sure you put a space because otherwise it'll go VIP Hobby Mado. It won't space it. You have to type in spaces where they would be normally. Y you'll get the hang of it if you test it out with it. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, and with this one, um, same thing, but a bit less. Oh, after the VIP one, I also reset it, so Hopping Mado would be normal text as well. But with the great YouTuber one, um, it's really simple. That one, all you need to do, T isn't working wise, okay good, right, there we go. Um, Hoppy Meadow, and then in the suffix bit, I put space is a great YouTuber. That's all you need to do. It's really simple, sort of. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That is how you get, oh yes, um, the random text one. All you need to do for that one is in the prefix, put the weird symbol, and then K and then in the suffix put the weird symbol in R. If you don't, that's the most important one to put the R one in the suffix because if you don't do that all the text afterwards, all that you write will just be random goop. So <laughs> don't do that. But there we go, that's how you do it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please give a like. If you enjoyed it a lot, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!